What's up folks and welcome to Kifrika TV. Today we have truly, truly alcohol in our midst folks. Hard seltzer since it's so freaking popular. If you're under 21, you should not be consuming this at all. If you're over 21, stay tuned because we're going to get deep, deep, deep into Truly. It's your hard eyes, girl. Hands off the merchandise. So hopefully this stuff tastes so good that it makes you want to sing. But we're not, I'm not I'm not too sure. The white claw kind of left me scarred a little bit. The raspberry, if you do remember, tasted pretty good. It was just dandy. The other ones actually tasted better. Opened and then left to sit in my refrigerator. Like I liked the grapefruit, for example, far better after it was open, sat in my fridge, and the fizz actually didn't go away after a couple days of sitting in there. Tasted pretty good at that point. So we're gonna try these out and see what they're all about. So we have four different packages here. We have a citrus mix. Here on top we have a lemonade and seltzer. We have a berry mix. We have a tropical pack. There's in this berry mix, for example, what we're gonna try first, we have black cherry, wild berry, blueberry, and acai, or acai, how do you say it down below? Spell it out, let me know. And then cherry lime. So hopefully these things got some flavor. Oh, that's actually raspberry lime. Raspberry lime, not cherry, cherry lime. That would have been too, that would have made too much sense. So let's try wild berry first. Oh, oh, that smell. That smell, it's, I hope it's not deceiving. It's deceiving. I mean, it's on par with White Claw, maybe a little bit better. But the wild berry already, already just, it just set me off like, wow, what did I, what did I buy all this alcohol for? It's gonna smell real good and taste like piss. <laughs> so straight up, black cherry. Oh, smell. Ew. No, sir. No, sir. See, I, I really hope they taste good after I let them sit out in my fridge, kind of like the White Claw. I guess we'll see. This is blueberry and acai. Okay, I like that one the best out of the three I've tried so far. For sure, we're gonna set that over here. These are the losers. Raspberry lime. That's, you know what? Hold up. That's strangely refreshing and okay. The flavor is still not there, especially when in, in compared to the smell. But we'll put it over here for now. So the blueberry, acai, and the raspberry lime were, were the best out of that pack. The black cherry and the wild berry, um, nope, not at all. Next ones, we're gonna try the citrus pack. And in the citrus pack, there's orange, lime, grapefruit, and lemon. Let's try this orange. And just, if you wanna actually see the can close up, it's kinda what they look like. Like the smell is totally there, but the flavor is just. Just the same. It's like you keep drinking it, wanting the flavor to be there. Like you just are deceived and thinking that maybe if I just take another drink, the flavor will just magically be there. It's not, it's not at all. Let's try grapefruit. 
Let's try grapefruit, sir. Oh. <laughs> well, that is so deep. That grapefruit smell is so authentic. Like the, my insides just did that. It did that. It did it. Okay. <laughs> I like the grapefruit one. It's not as sweet as, I was, as you would want it, but it literally tastes like grapefruit juice. So um, that one is gonna go up in the top over here. Lime. Again, it doesn't have, it's not as prevalent as the lime from, uh, what's it called, White Claw. Not at all, like the smell, like you're not gonna get that huge Sprite smell. You're also not gonna get really much of any taste either. It just doesn't taste good. Why do these things like have to not taste good? Why do you put all this effort and all this time in these drinks? If you're not gonna put any flavor in them. It doesn't make any sense to me. Lemon. It's just lemon water. I didn't really have high expectations for that one. But so far, that one's okay. So from each pack, there's been two that's been okay and two that's been just like eh. And mind you, when I say okay, I don't mean yes, go get it, go drink it, go love it. It's just okay. Tropical, simply because I'm curious about it. We wondered, we really wondering out here. Passion fruit, truly. It, it never it doesn't sm it doesn't smell like much of nothing. It initially has this rush of flavor that's attempting to go over your tongue, but then that's just met with no sugar at all, no distinct good flavor at all. It's like they tried. Whatever the heck passion fruit is, I can taste it, but it's. It's also, it tastes like something that should be sweet. And this is not. Disappointing. Watermelon and kiwi. I'm telling you y'all, like, if it don't taste good, I ain't gonna drink it. If it don't taste good, I'm not gonna buy it. And if it smells like it's supposed to be sweet and it's bitter, then that's just trash to me. Watermelon and kiwi. You can really taste that kiwi. Smell is not really there. Hmm. The taste is okay for what it is. Um, you can really taste the watermelon and the kiwi. Um, two things that really don't have sweet, incredibly sweet juices. Um, and I'm, yeah, it's it's okay. I put it over here. Pineapple. Come on, pineapple. I love pineapples. Like pineapples are one of those things that anytime I make a smoothie, like I have to have a pineapple in my smoothie. So pineapple. Here we go. I'm gonna put it over here to my left. It doesn't necessarily mean that I love it, but for what it is, it's all right. It should be sweeter than this. Just put a few grams of sugar in there. Like, is it so hard to put like three, four or five grams of sugar in a drink? Like, why is that so difficult? Just, just do that. Especially if, it, if, it's, if it's natural flavoring. Like if it's legitimate natural flavoring, then it's not added sugar. This shouldn't be rocket science. I don't get it. 
Mango! Ah. Smells like it. That initial rush over your tongue is definitely mango, but then it's met with no sweetness at all. It's kind of like when you bite into like the the part of the pineapple or the part of the mango that's like closer to the core or maybe it's a closer closer to the edge yeah it's closer to the edge and oh you know all the sugar is is um in the opposite direction of such fruit that's what the mango and the pineapple um tastes like like you really bit into the harder exterior part instead of the actual fruit like you still get a little bit of that flavor the hint and the smell and everything is there all the triggers are going off but it's just not going off and you're like it, and i'm not it's not going off in your heart like i'm, I'm freaking disappointed right now mango no like i mean it's oh, i'm gonna put it over here because out of all these out of everyone that i've tried but I had the highest hopes for mango, and mango is the best so far. But out of all the ones that I've tried, I just I'm, I'm still experiencing and just wanting more flavor, and it's just not there. It's just not there, and it's just not fair. Right now, we're gonna get into the ones that I had the highest hopes for, and these are the lemonade ones. If these ones don't taste good, I don't know what will. Let's try mango lemonade. Since mango was my favorite original flavor so far, which isn't saying much. Definitely more flavor. For the love of God, thank you. Definitely more flavor. I don't know <laughs> I don't know what flavor I'm really ingesting here but it doesn't remind me of mango or lemonade something's happening right now it tastes like an alcoholic beverage but it doesn't taste like mango or lemonade like I don't know what's happening but I don't like it I don't know what's happening with this mango lemonade but it can just it can stop. Like it's definitely sweeter. It's most definitely sweeter. So the fact that they did it under the same caloric guidelines makes me realize that I know that they can do it with the normal ones. I know that I know you can do it. I just tasted it. I, I, I know you guys have the ability. So now we'll go and do that for the other flavors. Original lemonade. That's okay. It has this like cloud of fizz when you drink it. It's like there's this dissipating cloud that just like over your tongue while you're drinking this. So I, I don't understand it. Yeah, that little cloud. It's the only way I can describe it to you. <laughs> Weird. Weird. Not my favorite. I'm straight. Uh, I'm straving. I'm saving the strawberry lemonade for the last one. Right now we're gonna do black cherry lemonade. Smells good. This one, like the smell is there. Ooh. Hmm. Like I really do chase the chased taste the black terry. Black terry. I ch I can't say the word. I taste the black cherry. I don't chase it. I don't. I do taste it. I taste the black cherry. My gosh. Um, but I don't taste the lemonade. I don't taste the lemonade. Like, I taste lemon, but it's not lemonade. You, you understand me what I, when I say that? 
like there's a difference between lemonade and just a lemon flavored thing. And uh, this is weird. Out of all the ones I've tried today, so far, the truly black cherry lemonade ones are my favorite. Like this one is absolutely my favorite um, just because I taste the different flavors in there. I, I really do. I, I taste these flavors and I'm okay with it. Right now that is the champion. Champion! But we got strawberry lemonade. Don't let me down. One last chance. It's the final countdown. Let's go. Right there, right there, right there. I literally saved the best one for last. This one, this one. This one is the one I'll drink all four of in the, in the variety pack, right here. Strawberry lemonade. That's just fine. I obviously wish these things would just be more sweeter, but for the sake of flavor, right here, this is good. This is just dandy. This is the best one. The best truly on the market strawberry lemonade. Honestly, all of the, the lemonade ones have, that's where all the flavor lies. All the flavor is in these. Every single one of them. That's where they hide it. That's where they are. So truly, you truly, finally, did a good job on these lemonade ones. I am burpy as heck right now. <laughs> um, the other flavors, just the normal white cans, they're just okay. But that's the video, folks. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Kiferka TV, and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your week. And if there's another kind of hard seltzer drink that you want me to try, comment down below because I know there's Budweiser, I know there's Corona, I know there's other brands because when I went and bought these, I saw all these brands and I was just like, what the heck? I didn't know any of these existed. Well, call out your favorite one down below and then we'll do that for the next hard seltzer review video since these are so popular. Join the Keeper Club every single time you join. You literally, for one, you get a shout out. So every time you join, you get a shout out. So thank you, um, John, and thank you, Bill. You know who you are for joining the Keeper Club. And two, um, you support these videos. Every penny that you put into the Keeper Club goes back into the channel. Like all the money from YouTube in my life goes back into YouTube so it can continually be a thing and moving forward an awesome, more awesome thing all day, every day. But beyond that, you already know, like and subscribe. Until the next one, peace.